If you've ever wondered if you're God's least favorite, just know you're not. I am, because uh, every time I leave my house, I get sick. Anyways, you read the title. You know why you're here, why we're here, what we're doing here. We're going to do a uh, spend 24 hours with a mood reader. That's me. I don't know if I sound as sick as it sounds in my head, but I'm assuming I do. But since I am sick, I expect very little of myself this weekend. So we are starting this video today at 11 and we are just going to see what I get up to with reading. When I'm sick, I tend to do about two things. I either read or I sit and rot in bed, but I got a new computer so I can play games. So it's probably going to be either read or play games and probably listen to an audiobook while I'm playing games. So lots of reading hopefully happening in the next 24 hours. The book I'm currently reading is Annihilation. Holy shit love this book and I am going to definitely read the next two books. I also own another book by him. Let me go grab it. I was looking at my bookshelf as I was like reading this and I went, hey, wait a minute, that name sounds familiar. I own this book by him. I love his covers. These are such good covers. I want to be able to do something like that one day. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm probably going to finish this book today. It's not a very big book, but I've been kind of dragging it out. I am on page 139 currently, and there are 195 pages. I even a full 195, so really 194. So I see myself finishing this today. I do need to get started on my book club's book of the month, which is The Spear Cuts Through Water. First of all, look at this. Wow. I did get this on Audible, but I've heard people say that you kind of need to do an immersive read. So like you listen and you read in the book to kind of fully understand. We have that going. I still have books going from last month. I kind of had a weird month. I read four books or finished four books pretty early on in the month and then I just didn't read much. Kind of fell behind. But I have the first Harry Potter book still going, which I'm not in any rush to really finish, but that would be a nice one to listen to while I play games. Also have Iron Gold that I am trying to work my way through. I am enjoying it. It's just, I haven't reached the point where I give a shit about the other point of views and the new characters. What else do I have? Oh, I'm also still trying to work my way through the Mortal Instruments, which is like City of Bones. That's for a video mostly, not for my enjoyment. So that'll get done when it gets done. Anyways, like I said, it's 11. We're going to do the next 24 hours, see what I get up to, see how much I read as a mood reader. Please now mood reader. So I could sit here and say, I'm going to finish this book. And then logically I should start this book, but who knows what will actually happen. It's 1.13 and I just finished reading Annihilation. What the fuck? If you've read this book, page 165, yeah, I had to reread that paragraph that goes on to page 166 three times just to make sure that I was understanding correctly. Thing is, is that I've seen this movie a long time ago, like years ago, and I watched the trailer recently. I was getting a lot of things mixed up from that movie with a different movie, so I thought I knew where this was going. But to be so honest, I don't think I remember a single thing from that movie, except for the fact that Natalie Portman's in it. Is that even right? I think that's right. I liked this book. I'm definitely going to pick up the next two. I have no idea what the next two are about. I'm assuming it's picking up where this kind of left off. I don't know. What are the next books called? Okay, so I just read Annihilation, then there's Authority and Acceptance. There's something I really enjoy about reading a book written by someone who is very clearly smarter than I am. Maybe it's just because I feel like their intelligence is rubbing off on me and now I know so much but also so little. Also while I'm talking I'm staring at this stack of books I have. Hold on I'll show you. I'm staring at all of those and I really want to pick up one of them. <laughs> Should I pick up one of those books? Absolutely not. I still have some books that I need to read from last month and like I mentioned earlier I need to read this book for my book club this month but I think I might honestly, hold on. I really want a fun, easy read for this month. I try to at least get one in each month and one could say that Harry Potter is that, but I know the story and while I do love it, I know it's gonna happen, okay? I've read it a few times. Like I've listened to it more than once, numerous times, okay? I think I really wanna read The Maze Runner this month because then I can also watch the movie, which I've seen this movie, but not for many of years. This might be a controversial take and some people might not agree with me, but I actually really like reading the book after seeing the movie and then being able to like note what I remember from the movie and see how it plays out differently. That's what I do with the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which I'll do that one eventually. Not right now though. But like I said, I've seen this movie. It's been years. I don't remember all of it, but I remember some of it. So I want to read this because I didn't even know that there was a book. Anyways, might add this to my stack. Have it as something for fun to read. Now I think I might 
take a little break, maybe play some games, listen to an audiobook. Who knows? Wow, what a fun Saturday. It's 1 p.m. and I already finished a book. I feel so accomplished. I'm just popping in real quick to say that I just downloaded the next book, uh, Authority, onto my Kindle because I'm too impatient to wait for the next one to come in the mail. It is currently, well, it's basically 4 p.m. It's 3.55 and this is a perfect... Oh my god, I can't speak. This is a perfect example of how reading a book that I really enjoy makes me want to go write my own book because now here I am writing and it was not in the cards today. It wasn't even on the list of possibilities. Usually when I'm sick, I give myself the grace and ability to just have nothing to do. It's not that I want to write a book like Annihilation because I think, try as I might, I wouldn't be able to write something like this to this degree. But the way that I felt while reading this is what inspires me to want to write my own book. I want someone to be sitting there reading my book and be like, I want to know what happens next. I want to turn to the next page. And when it's done, I want another one. And it's things like that that make me want to write and that kind of give me this motivation and desire to sit down and write and so here I am. I'm kind of just doing it though. I'm getting out what I want to and then once I hit a wall or something, if I want to take a break and go back to playing games or if I want to pick up the next book because I did already send the next book to my Kindle. It is sitting right here. I read the first line. So excited. But right now we're gonna do this. So like being a mood reader and also a mood reader who is writing and kind of in a way, I guess like a mood writer as well, they kind of go hand in hand. I have this thing where sometimes when I'm writing, I really want to go read. And sometimes when I'm reading, I really want to go write. It's a nice little system, but it's also fucking annoying. And I really want to watch Annihilation tonight. And I'm trying to decide if I want to make a movie reactions video to it or not. I just got a little butt cushion for my chair because let me tell you, this chair that I have, as cute as it might be, not comfy. And my biggest thing when I was watching Percy Jackson was sitting in this goddamn chair. I was like, oh my god, I'm so uncomfy. But now I'm, I'm comfy cozy. So I'm ready. I'm ready to sit here and write. I'm ready to sit here and watch a movie. But I'm also sick. Do I want to watch this movie while sick? I don't know. I want to watch the movie though. So maybe I will. But that's not going to be until tonight. Do it once. We didn't die. Come on. Do it. I'm ready. Hello. Put you up here, actually. It's almost 10 p.m. Been a hot minute since I was last here. There's a reason for that. I fell asleep. Yeah. But I woke up. I made myself a little sandwich. And then I've just been playing games and listening to the newest season of Impact Winter. If you've seen some of my other videos, then you know I've listened to season one and season two. And both seasons, they've just been missing something. But here's the thing they're free so if you're looking for something that has really good production and it's something just fun to kind of listen to that you know you aren't super invested in the storyline because there's something missing from the storyline in my opinion i suggest i don't really care for where the last season left off but it's just it's so fun to listen to so i've just listened what i've been having a really hard time speaking this video i've just been listening to it while i play games which might sound weird considering the game i'm playing most of the time you, you need to listen a little bit but i've mastered the art of multitasking. Have I? I don't know. I died. So. And we lost. Maybe that was my fault. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the night, to be so honest with you. I could play some more games and listen to some more of an audiobook, but like, I don't know what I want. I've also, where is it? I read the first line of this because I think I mentioned earlier that I'm really interested in possibly reading this this month, and I'm going to read it to you. It says, he began his new life standing up, surrounded by cold darkness and stale, dusty air. Did the movie start with him in the box? Like the cage coming up? Is that how the movie started? I don't remember, actually. It's kind of a fun start. I don't know how I feel about the font in this book, though. I don't know what it is. Something about it's really upsetting me. I think I'm gonna actually read this this month. So who knows? Maybe I'll start this tonight. I think, though, tonight I am 100% going to read the first. I don't know if it's in chapters, because here's the thing. Annihilation had chapters, but there are like four or five of them in the whole thing. This one has numbers. Like that and part one, two, three, four, five or things like that. I think I'm for sure going to read some bit of the next book, which is... What is this called? Authority. Should I be reading the other books that I have going on from last month? 100%. But I'm a mood reader and I'm not in the mood for those right now. This doesn't really have to do with reading, but it also does since I finished Annihilation while making this video. I'm currently watching the movie and I am nine minutes in and it's very 
not book accurate. Someone had asked actually for me to do a book first movie for Annihilation and I was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna enjoy it. And now I'm wishing I had set up a little thing and done movie reactions because what the fuck is this? Oh my god, uh, I washed my face and while I was washing my face, I also tried to cleanse my mind and scrub it of everything that I just watched in the last two hours, aka the Annihilation movie. I'm making a whole video about this, which will be up after this video sometime this week, probably, probably Wednesday, maybe Thursday, depends. It was so bad. It was so bad. That was not an adaptation. That was a, I'm gonna take the title and put it on this, but do nothing the same. I watched the original Percy Jackson movie and that was a more faithful adaptation than this. I don't know what that was. Not a single thing was correct. Oh, I just realized if I wanna add in movie clips, which I'm probably going to want to for my video where I discuss the book and movie. I'm gonna have to edit this soon because I only have 48 hours since I rented it. I'm so sorry that they did you that way. Good morning. I am going to listen to the first chapter of The Spirit Cuts Through Water. I'm gonna do this while I eat my breakfast. I used to read a lot in the morning. I used to like set an hour aside or something and read in the morning and I haven't been doing that, but I did that yesterday, right? Like I finished that book in the morning. It was nice. I'd like to get back into the habit of doing that. I believe I made this title of this video like 24 hours with the mood read or something. I'm not getting that technical with it. We're gonna end this video and I feel like ending this video. Okay, we're gonna see how many different books I hip hoppity through before you arrive. Oh, it's speaking at me. I just read the first sentence. Okay, let's do this. Before you arrive, you remember your Lola smoking. You were spit for her stories, tales of the old country of ruined kingdoms and trans- under which all doubtful shadows flee. Is that not so? Oh my goodness. I read the first 30 pages while listening. Um, definitely good to have the physical copy and follow along. The one thing though is this is so long and the one thing I hate about long chapters, well I hate a lot of things about long chapters, but the main one I hate is that you either stop at a very random spot like I have or you sit down and you commit to the bit. But this bit was gonna be three hours long and I just, it's not happening today. All right, it's been a little bit. I played some games. I went through some emails, yada, yada, boring, boring Sunday stuff. Since I last checked in with you, I went through two different audiobooks. I listened to some Harry Potter of the first book. I'm about 50% of the way through now, which is kind of insane because when I first bought all of these audiobooks, I was working in a doctor's office. I worked in medical records, so I didn't have to speak to anybody. And I'm pretty sure I listened to all of those audiobooks in a week. And now it has been weeks since I started this audiobook, but I'm really in no rush. I just of play it when I want to listen to an audiobook but don't want to have to like pay super close attention and since I know the story pretty well I don't have to pay close attention and then I also listen to another episode of Impact Winter season three but now I'm going to get into like editing and stuff my little annihilation video <laughs> oh my god I was angry in this video I'm gonna have to cut some stuff out I think I'm gonna be working on this for a little bit so I don't think I'm going to probably be picking up any more books for today. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end this video now before I forget to do it. I don't know how many books, different books we went through. I know I finished Annihilation, we started Spirit Cuts Through Water, Impact Winter Season 3, and Harry Potter. So four different books in like a little over 24 hours. And that's how I work. Different books for different moods, different strokes for different folks, you know what I mean? If you enjoyed this video though, give it a little thumbs up, subscribe, comment, like, do the YouTube stuff that I say in every video, and I will see you next time. Bye!